So this is what the book looks like from the top. It is a board book. I put um, two pages together in each section and then did the backgrounds according to Lori Marie Jenkins videos. And my theme is step back in time. So I have some antique buttons at the top, a Victorian shoe. This is a seven gypsies handle with a clock. And then I used a clock stencil and the words step back in time. So there's my cover. At the top here is a tag that pulls out. It has a old ad for fountain pens and all the ads and all the focal points in this book were from um, 1898 Century magazines. I purchased a stack of them um, and all the ads were just just too cool and I saved them and so that I've used them as the theme for this book. So there's an old pencil sharpener. Look at that cool pencil sharpener. I love that. And a fountain pen ad. And then this one is um, by China and Glass Wright. It's a couple that is obviously in a shop purchasing things to set up house. Fine China rich cut glass for their house furnishings. And that slips in a pocket up at the top here. And the second page is about old shoes. So there is, this was a shoe ad in that Century Magazine. And then this was a, a label that says fit for a queen trademark. It's the Ultra. And then if you can see inside the boot is the Ultra trademark. So um, that's a trademark for it. And there's an ad here that the shoes are all styles, $3.50 a pair. This is an antique shoe, uh, shoe button hook, and that is how they used to lace their shoes. And then I've got this pretty Victorian lady, and her ad, this ad was for Sarosa Shoes, um, and it says the Sarosa Shoe, and that was all one piece from an ad. I just love her and I I added some detail to her and added some color to her face and some color to her feather just to make it pop and then to her pearls and then on this side I made this shoe out of um, textured material and um, I'm sorry textured cardstock and then this is material and I laced it and layered it and made a Victorian boot Here's an ad for um, men's shoes, and that was in that same book. And then these are actually, I used to be an antique button collector in a club, and these are actually old Victorian shoe buttons. So they would have gone um, down the shoe, and then they'd use this tool to pull the loop and strap over and lace the shoe. So these are shoe buttons. That's a um, copper, just a copper disc that I had, and so I set it down into the book. Fun backgrounds. This next page is old vehicles. So we've got an ad for the H.H. Babcock reputation with their vehicles. And then this is the Belle Isle buckboard. And then this is on a hinge. There's another old carriage and underneath an ad for tires for uh, these vehicles that don't you don't inflate them but then they um, keep the keep the tires nice so that was like the first <laughs> one of the first ads for tires for these vehicles so I thought that was kind of neat in an old um, that's not old that's just a metal steampunk disc and I thought it looked cool on that page and this is for Columbia Electric and Gas Automobiles. That's pretty cool. And then this one I did um, a packing tape transfer. And there's just, I used a stencil to make uh, gears in the back and put a cool um, die cut or laser cut frame over the top of it. So that is that, is that page for vehicles.
there's a tab on the end the next page is I love this page so much this is an ad for hold fast hairpins and it shows her putting the hairpins in her hair and then these hairpins were actually my great-great-grandmother's. I was given them when I was probably about five years old. We went to visit my grandmother and she had stuff in her attic and she gave me this fancy wooden box with all kinds of little baubles in it and these were in it. And I've kept them all these years and I just I saw this ad and went, oh my gosh, I've got to find where I put those hairpins and I still have them. And I put them on the page because now it's a great place for me to be able to pull them out and see them. And then there is uh, Victorian Images. That's on acetate transfer. And that was from an ad. And then these two women was from a cool ad in the book. And then there was a piece of paper that had 1916 calendar. I thought that just kind of went neat behind that um, acetate sheet. So that's that page. I love that because of the hairpins. And then when you pull out this, it's got Paris perfume ads, um, uh, Pinot's French or Carnation Pink Witch. And it's got, look at that cool ad for French perfume. I love that. And then in the back, I just stamped it with a rubber stamp that has a French perfume bottle. And that goes down on the end here in the pocket. And then this next one, I did all music boxes. So we've got Stella music boxes. And then Regina music box company. And then we have this ad down here. This is for a phonograph and it says True Mirror of Sound, the Bettini Micro Reproducer for phonographs and graphophones. And then this is a rubber stamped image of a phonograph. So I like that page too. That turned out really fun. And then this page is my corset page. There's Red Fern Corsets ad. Look at that cool image of a lady in her corset. $250 to $10 sold to first class dealers. Um, I love how it says French gourd, solid whalebone, bias cut. Aren't they beautiful? It's That's just so beautiful. And then I put this image out of the book here of this lady and she's obviously wearing a corset. Look how tiny her little cinched in waist is and then there's another ad here for a different corset company so true waist or flint waist or true corsets and then on this side i put this image which is a rubber stamp of um, the w h k and s ellen terry corset company and then this corset that they're stamped on um, the inside of a sewing pattern and the brown inside sewing pattern and then um, Mod Podged in and then I put um, I Mod Podged crochet lace to the bottom and then this these are lacing eyelets and I laced up this page so that it looks like a corset I love that and then inset into the uh, board book is this cool metal piece that I had. It was just cool and fun. I put that in there as kind of a handle for the page. And when you flip to the back side, I put a Victorian black glass button on the back side so it covers the back side of that metal piece. And then I tied to it um, some sari silk with some antique buttons. And then this back page is an old Singer sewing machine ad out of the same 1898 art, um, magazine. So it's um, Singer sewing machines. Look at that cool image. And then I stamped on material. There's a black glass button, um, bone sewing button. This is um, a vintage Cordicelli thread 
spool with thread on it and then another thread spool uh, coming out of the book and then from that is a dangle piece with um, a panty waist button and a little charm of a sewing machine vintage buttons there's um, paper measuring tape here's a pie crust button bone buttons and then this old um, pictorial button with a griffon in it and then this is a glass old glass button this is material uh, that I might patched on with a cool image so the back whole theme is vintage sewing oh there's a, a pair of metal sewing scissors so that's the back of the book and then my dangles on the back I've got a cast iron little hand crank sewing machine and a little bottle a little bottle with very very tiny screws they actually came from the hinge that I used on that one page and since it's not screwed on I put the screws into this little bottle and then a bigger bottle this is really fun hopefully you can see it well a bigger bottle and inside it is a little tiny feather it's actually a feather that came from one of my finches let me see if I can get a better grip on this and there's rolled up paper measuring tape the little that brass piece with the thread and the two little tiny spools this is very very tiny and that's Victorian sewing kit and the ladies it the end of it comes off and there's a needle inside and they would tuck that into the top of their boot and take it with them for in case they needed to make a sewing repair so I just thought that was cool to put in here there's some piece of silk a needle two black glass old buttons in here so that's just really a cool cool dangle on the back so there are my dangles and that's my book. I really had a good time. Uh, this project of doing a board book was new for me. I usually do altered books or journals, and so the board book was really fun. I enjoyed doing um, the binding on it and the sewed binding. And then I just, I love how thick and thick and solid the pages are, and it's just, it was too much fun. So I really enjoyed this project, and um, I thank you Lori Marie for showing us this project so I can try something new and this will be a fun keepsake for me to keep and have with these wonderful little tidbits that I've put into it so hope you enjoyed the flip through of my board book